Hand reading in Mahjong means to identify the most likely hands your opponent is developing. During the pick and discard phase of the game, this is done by observing exposures and discards. The intel gathered can be used to help you make decisions on the development of your own hand. It can also help you play more defensively as the game progresses. In this video, we're going to practice hand reading. We just joined a game as a spectator at Mahjong time. In this hand reading session, we are watching people play American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The reason we can't see the tiles is because we're in spectate mode. The purpose of this exercise is to practice hand reading based on discards and exposures alone. So we're not supposed to see the hands. All right, everyone's passing fully and we're going into the second Charleston. Uh-oh, somebody is on auto pass. I think someone left the table over here on the left. It looks like somebody left the table. All right, well, everybody is passing in the second left. We'll get through the Charleston and then We'll start hand reading after East discards the first tile. Looks like someone is having a hard time making a decision. All right, passing right, last right. Then we'll go into the optional across. waiting for the third Charleston. And by the way, that is called the optional across or the courtesy pass. I wonder why they called it the third Charleston. There is no third Charleston. Everybody pass fully. One bamboo. Okay, one bamboo. One bamboo out.
oh, by the way, they left the table, so we're not going to be able to use their information. Whatever they discard, a robot, I believe, is sitting at their table or at their Seven hand. Characters. hand. So we can only look at west, or let's Seven see, characters. southwest and north. So far, cracks are going down. Seven characters. Two characters. Okay, cracks are taking a hit. One character. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Anybody playing cracks should win. change their hand right now. Well, maybe not. Let, uh, let's say anybody in cracks playing odds. Seven bamboo. No, that's going to take, that's going to be difficult. Flower. Okay, first flower out. I always like to note when the first flower goes down and who takes, who, who considers it. One character. Where the hesitation is. Look at the cracks out here. Jeez, that's kind of strange. Two characters. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that means everyone's playing bams and Five dots bamboos. or wins because there's only one wind out. Eight characters. Wow, that is kind of unusual. White dragon. Okay, so there's a little bit of new info, new intel, I guess. Eight bamboos. Okay, so we have a player across from us. They are likely in dots. Now they could be playing a mixed suit Two hand, bamboos. but my guess is they're playing dots over there. Maybe evens. One bamboo. Dots and evens in, red in front of us. Okay, there's a hesitation on the red dragon. Home. All right, we've got dragons. Dragons, maybe they're playing the second consecutive hand. Second one down, one, two, three, four, with dragons. Three characters. That's just a guess, stab in the dark. Only one dot is out. That's why I'm thinking somebody's playing dots. Two characters. The player to our right might be in bams. Eight characters. We have a lot of mixed suit hands though on the card. So they could be doing bams one and dots dragon. to the right. Bams and dots to the right. And in front of us, I'm thinking dots. They have a five bam in front of White them. Dragon. Okay, so there's no hesitation dots. on the white dragon. So Two the dots. player across from us is likely just doing a one dragon hand. Hmm. Okay, two dot with a dragon. So they're doing one, two, three, four. Green dragon. One, two, three, four, second hand down under consecutive run. I think Nine that is dots. the only hand that could be. All right, so we got their hand pegged. Now the others. Two bamboos. So they threw a two bam. They must be doing a mixed suit hand. Flower. In bams and dots in front of us is my guess. Bams and dots. Seven bamboos. Bams and dots in front of us. Bams and dots to the right. Now, somebody could be playing like numbers. Sometimes that can be a little tricky to determine. Seven bamboos. One bamboo. We have all little numbers in front of us with this player here. They could be doing a mixed suit six through Flower. nine hand in bams and dots in front of us. North wind. Six through nine mixed suit hand in front of us to the right nine bamboos no clue there goes a nine bam seven bams three are out dots. so the bams are going to be a challenge here because we have three seven bams and a nine bam out anybody playing consecutive eight run bamboos. with big numbers is going to be struggling there's a hesitation on the eight so they have seven, eight, twos. I North don't think win. the player to the right, I don't think is playing evens. Somebody One could be bamboo. doing a mixed suit even hand here. Eight characters. Or one, one suit even hand. So two, four dots are out. Eight cracks Six are out. Dots. 
So there goes a six dot hesitation on the six. Maybe someone's playing like numbers with sixes. Pulling. There's a six dot. All right. A little, bit of, little bit of intel there. They threw a six, a three crack. They could be playing a three, six, Five nine dots. hand. Could be playing a three, six, nine hand over here. Bams and dots. Or, or like numbers with sixes to the right. That would be West. Seven characters. Nine dots. They threw a nine dot. They threw a three and a nine. So my guess, they Five could be doing dots. three, six, nine with a switch to like numbers with sixes. Three, six, nine, switching to like numbers is a pretty easy transition nine if dots. you're not too committed. Five dots. Four bamboos. So I don't see any more, any sixes out here. I don't see any other sixes except that Kong. Two characters. Now the four dot is out. A three four dot bamboos. is out. This player across from us needs one, two, three, four. The player in front of us, we don't know what, what we're doing here yet. The player on the left, oh, that's Seven a, dots. the player on the left is a robot. We don't need to worry about them because their hand is going to be a hot mess. Nine bamboos. Three characters. Okay. Seven dots. Interesting. This I hope I wonder if Six these two dots. players are both playing like numbers with sixes. Because this player in front of us, three dots. They probably are not doing evens or consecutive Come. run. Okay, there's three. So they need one two and four. Dots. One and four dot over there. Pairs. They could be ready six to win. Characters. Oh, there was no hesitation on the six. Okay. Four characters. Let's see here. Three dots. You know what? That third, fourth hand down under consecutive Six run. Bamboos. Somebody could be doing single pair Kong. Four, five, six. six. Bamboos. Four, five, six, single pair Kong. But looks like the five dots are all Red down. Dragon. So I don't think so. Five dots are down. I'm thinking like numbers with sixes Six to the characters. right, but the six cracks are going down. So, mm, oh, you know Four what? Characters. Somebody could be playing addition. One dot. Six, seven. Let's see. I think the sevens are all going down though too. I don't see any seven dots though. Joker. Maybe the player in front of us is doing addition. Three characters. Three, four, seven. No, the Three fours are bamboos. down. Okay, seven bams are down. Marshall. Like numbers. They're doing like numbers, mixed suit. Third hand down on the right. Like numbers, mixed suits. That's what I thought they were doing in the beginning. And then the player to our right is doing one, two, three, four. Player across from us is doing like numbers with eights and news. And then the player, let's see here. Oh, that was the supposed uh, robot. And then the player on our left, east and west, east and west with Kongs, but they had a little bit of trouble coming up with another number tile in a different suit. All right, that's going to do it for this hand reading session. If you haven't tried practicing this skill, you can do it at Mahjong time by entering a game in spectate mode. Let me show you how to do that, by the way. So here's how you do it. Spectate mode. What you got to do is go to the lobby, which you see right here. And then on the right side, let me go full screen. Okay. So on the right, you can see action. See all the buttons that say join, watch, join and watch. You want to click watch, not where there's a one under round. You want to click quick mahjong. So you click watch. And then if you're able to spectate, you'll see spectate right there in that bottom button. 
So you just click there till you see it. And then you click it and you're looking for a game where they're doing the Charleston. So this game, this would be a good one. Seven bamboos. Because they only just started. So then what you do is you just watch the discards and then you watch the exposures and you try to figure out what they're focused on based on what you see. Discards and exposures, process Red of elimination bamboo. and test yourself. And then you exit by clicking that little door in the right hand corner. Let's see if we can find one where they're doing the Charleston so you can see that. Okay, so that would be a game and play. It's too late, really. I mean, I suppose you could look at, we have one exposure and then we have the first round of discards. So the, the player in front of us, probably not playing evens. Player to our right, probably not playing evens. Player across from us has a one. So they're not playing evens. Player to our left has a two. Nobody's playing evens. So that's Nine kind of an characters. example of, of what you can do when you practice. Let's just see if we can find one during the Charleston. You just keep clicking watch until you find a game where they're doing the Charleston. Here we go, right here. So then what you, and when you see no tiles here, don't worry about that. You're not supposed to see the tiles. So then you just wait until they get through the Charleston and then East will discard tile to start the game and you start practicing hand reading. And then you click this little door in the bottom right corner to leave. Oh, I guess you can't see that. Let me show you, there it is right there right here, down here in the bottom right corner. So that is how you practice hand reading at Mahjong time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.